Hey, what is going on guys? It's Mark and Mark. back with another video today. I am going to be doing a review on Doctor Who. So for today, well, let's just say that we're going to be doing a certain something for Doctor Who. So, the first one I want to try is... Now, I don't know if you can see that correctly, but it's Doctor Who and the Siberians. So, the fact, so why I'm doing this is because only the fact that um, Doctor Who and the Silurians is the third, well, second ever episode for the John Pertwee era from 1970 to 74. It's got some cool features. It is a two disker. And so, I've got to put the camera down for a second. You can see there's part one. There's part two. The fact that this isn't just... This isn't just... The only one I've got. I have actually got... Let me just put the camera down for a second. I have actually got... Loads more Doctor Who. And I actually just have got a new DVD today. And it is... Well... Let's just say that it's a... Um, Good one, basically. It's a very, very nice, good one. So I actually do have at the moment quite a lot. So I obviously I have here the so Doctor Who and the Silurians, Doctor Who the Day of the Daleks, Doctor Who the Sea Devils, Doctor Who the Movie Special Edition, which is this one I actually just got today. And then you have Series 1, Volume 1, Rose, the End of the World, and I'm Quite Dead. Series 1, Volume 2, Aliens of London, World War 3, and Dalek. Series 2, Volume 5, Fear Her, Army of Ghosts, and Doomsday. Series 3, Volume 4, Utopia, Sound of the Drums, and Last of the Time Lords. Uh, the Waters of Mars, 2009 Autumn Special, and The End of Time. Parts 1 and 2, 2009, Winter Special, and obviously The Time of the Doctor. And I have actually got The Day of the Doctor, loads more books, and a couple of TARDISes. But we're going to be reviewing <laughs> Doctor and the Silurians. So, this this one I've watched two times, and obviously, John Pertwee is quite a good Doctor, in my opinion. I actually quite like Doctor and the Silurians. Same along with the Sea Devils, because the Sea Devils were also in... Doctor and the Silurians, along with the third Doctor, and the fifth Doctor. So no other people have met the Sea Devils at the moment, apart only the fifth Doctor and the ninth Doctor. No, no, not the ninth Doctor, third Doctor. But Doctor Who and the Silurians is basically about the Doctor going down into mines. They find now, I don't know if you can see that, but this thing right here is actually... Um, one of the Sea Devils, apparently, because the Doctor says in this that he's met your kind of war, and that was in the Silurians. And the Silurians have met the, well, a couple of Doctors. They've met the third Doctor, obviously, and they've met the eleventh Doctor, which I think is more in, the, in my encyclopedia. This video has currently been going on for three minutes and 50 seconds, but Doctor and the Silurians, in my opinion, is a very, very good story. I mean... Especially on the back, like it's starring John Pertwee for the Doctor. It's got um, Caroline John, Liz Shaw. Now, Liz Shaw was actually quite a good companion. I actually quite like Liz Shaw. And obviously, you can see John Pertwee there, a Silurian. And I think that's a Sea Devil, unless that's a Sea Devil. I know that that's a Silurian, and I think that might be a Sea Devil. Or another version of a Silurian, as you can see right here. But I actually have got... Um, if I... Come in here. It's a very dark room. I actually have got the specials, the beginning, the end, the child, the Daleks, and the edge of destruction, along with a prequel of Marco Polo.
the key to time box set. Which has the Robots Operation Center of Blood, Power of Crow, Pirate Planet, Androids of Tara, no. Robots Operation, Pirate Planet, Stones of Blood, Androids of Tara, Power of Crow, and the Armageddon Factor. So that is the key to time era. The top thing. First series, the complete second series, the complete third series, and the complete fourth series. Yeah, so Doctor Who and the Silurians. Doctor Who and the Silurians is actually quite a good DVD, in my personal. So if you guys have enjoyed this review on Silurians, then make sure to leave a like comment down below. If you want to see more on all of these, these I shall record it. But anyway, I hope you guys have an amazing well, night. And I'd like to see some comments and some support, so thank you, good night.